Hey guys, this is Scott, and I'm here to give you a review of the Throbo Up T1200 Pro wireless mower. So I picked up this mower from Amazon for about $1,600. The 1200 Pro uses two sensors, an AI vision sensor and an ultrasonic sensor which assists in navigating the lawn. It uses GNSS, Global Navigation Satellite Systems, VSLAM, and RTK that helps navigate your yard. We're going to jump into the unboxing. The 1200 Pro came nicely packed and very secure, and it was very easy to take everything out of the box. So what comes in the box? Well, you got the mower, the charging platform, the RTK head and poles, two 36 foot long cables, one which goes from the charging brick to the charging platform, and the other one is for the RTK, the owner's manual, some screws, the cleat foot for the RTK poles, and some extra cutting blades. Initially, I was gonna put the pad for the 1200 in this mulch garden. But once I got everything set up, I realized the incline I had placed it on was too steep. And every time I put the robot on to charge, it would just roll right back off the contact. So you need to make sure it is on a nice flat area. The power supply is three amps, 72 watts. The wheels on the 1200 Pro are eight and a half inches and rubber treaded. An easy to hit stop button for emergencies. It has one cutting disc with three blades. The cutting height of the robot is 30 to 60 millimeters or 1.18 inches to 2.36 inches. The vision system on the 1200 Pro will also recognize objects four inches or taller in height. Located on the box, they supply you with a green and black ruler. You're supposed to place this ruler on so you have 15 centimeters of clearance when manually mapping your property. You want to make sure to place this ruler on the right side because that is where the cutting blades are. It took me a stupid amount of time to find this ruler. Turns out it was just on the box that you had to punch out. Now it's time to set up the mower. First I took a picture of the QR code and downloaded the RoboUp app. Set the information for you and agree to the policies, and then you can create your account. Now it's time to pair our mower. It is very important to know you must set up your charging base and your RTK system prior to doing this. It took me about 45 minutes of trying to get this to connect, and it just wouldn't work. After setting up the charging base and the RTK, I tried the pairing again, and it worked. Now that we've paired the mower, it's time to map our property. For my property, I have three zones, the front left, front right, and the backyard. I chose to manually map out the front yards. I discovered, while driving your mower with the phone, it's a little difficult to drive in a straight line. The front wheels of the mower are almost like a swivel caster type wheel, and they want to sway back and forth, so that took a little bit to get adjusted to. For the backyard, I chose to use the auto mapping feature. I was very excited to see how the T1200's auto mapping feature would work, as my other mower does not do so well on the auto mapping. During auto mapping, you want to make sure to place your mower so its boundary is on the right side, and the mower will just follow the boundaries in your yard. I really did not have any super issues with the auto mapping feature. It worked quite well, and I was very pleased.
As you can see in this spot, there was a break in the boundary and the mower wanted to try to get into our flower garden. A simple fix for that was I just put my foot down, it registered there was an obstacle there or boundary and it proceeded to continue mapping out the property. During the auto mapping process, there was only a few places I had to step in at. With the mapping complete, now it's time to do our first cut. In the manual, it says that you're supposed to pre-cut your yard to whatever height you'll be using this at. I chose not to do that, and on the first pass, it left quite a bit of uncut areas where it had gone over, but it was just too tall and didn't cut. But since I was testing this out, I wasn't too concerned. I repeated the test with this mower about four times, and about after the fourth time, it had got everything cut, and the yard was looking really good. One thing I really like about this mower is its little LED light and the option to cut at night. The little lights are super bright. So here's my test of cutting at night. As you can see, the lights are very bright. I let the mower cut about half of our backyard that night and then I stopped it. Reason is I never set up any boundaries and we have a trampoline and it keeps getting stuck on the trampoline. The obstacle avoidance system works very well. My daughter decided to leave her shoes out one day while we were cutting, so I decided to take full advantage of that. You can see the mower comes right up to the shoe, but it makes some beepy noises, identifies that there's a shoe or object there, and proceeds to turn around. Just remember, objects less than four inches in height may not get recognized by the mower and will get ran over. As far as pros and cons of this mower, pros being it cuts very well, it has good obstacle avoidance, the mower is pretty easy to set up, the auto mapping works great, at least yards with fences, it's very good at following the boundaries when cutting, and very easy to use. A few of the cons I have, it's very lightweight. Compared to my Sunseeker, it weighs a lot less and feels a little more flimsy. The cut height is shorter than what I would prefer, as it only cuts to about 2 inches. I would prefer to cut it up to three, three and a half. One time during cutting, the mower just decided to stop and shut down. I had to pick it up and take it back to the charging pad and pretty much reset it from there. After that, it worked fine. I've had no other issues with it stopping. An annoying issue is that if you're too far away from the mower for Bluetooth, it keeps popping up on the app screen saying, hey, you're too far away from the mower. Please get closer. And I can't find a way to turn it off. So the big question, would I buy this mower again? For $1,600, having the ability not to mow every single week or even twice a week, and the ease of use and setup, I would definitely buy this mower again and would recommend it to a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm looking forward to making more content for you guys. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye.